Hello there, everyone. My name is Crazy Caleb, and today we are taking a look at what appears to be a fairly similar, fairly similar module, but we are taking a look instead at Doc Maze. So this looks very similar to USA Maze. So for those of you who aren't familiar with that one, um, you might be familiar by this image. So USA Maze is essentially we're going to be uh, traveling to a specific state um, via specific shapes that connect st uh, specific states. However, this time, Doc Maze, uh, and the way that you can tell the difference between Doc Maze and USA Maze, is this top right uh, little display up here that says Doc. The other one would say USA, as it says, in, uh, as it says up here. So Doc Maze is essentially uh, traveling between European regions, mainly between Germany, Switzerland, Austria, and the additional country of Liechtenstein. So we will be traveling between two uh, between two different regions um, between these several countries. So same concept as USA Maze. If you know USA Maze, you already know this module. So it's just a little bit more complicated because there is an additional thing that can happen. There are some clashes that can happen where there are duplicate cases of specific abbreviations. In this case being Berlin and Bern, and uh, uh, NW being Northwine uh, West Poly and uh, Nidwalden, and so on and so forth. These are highlighted in sort of a, a darker grayish color, or a light gray color, whatever you prefer to call it, um, and let you know that you essentially will have to um, find You'll have to potentially travel to both regions to figure out which one either solves or which one, which one you start at. So, let's figure out what we're working with here. So, we are traveling from uh, November Tango to uh, Sierra Gulf. So, the way how this module would work is we would find our, country, uh, our region that we're in, in this case being NT. And just to confirm, there is no uh, duplicate regions for this one, nor for SG, so we're good. So we have found NT right down here. The white lines on each of, on the borders represent a uh, represent a shape, and pressing that shape will travel to that next, that adjacent country. So if we press triangle here, that should take us to an SA, which it does. So now what we need to do is navigate through this maze and find SG. So SG is where. It is up here, but we have to follow this era, arrow down to this little country, right where the star separates from TG. So this means this little area is down in this bottom left corner on the big map. So what we need to do is we need to essentially, um, we actually want to go back to NT, because there is a little square right here, and it's the exact same thing as on the bigger map. Um, there is a little square that can that can allow us to go to GR, which can get us on the smaller map right here. So we are right here on this little smaller map. And we need to get to SG, which is right in this little sliver right here. So we cannot get to it um, directly, so we will have to go around. Notice how some of these countries are... There's only one entrance in and one entrance out, so... Some of these countries can be difficult to travel to. I'll keep that in mind. So, in order to get to SG, we want to go around and we have to take the star to, T to TG. So let's figure out how we can get to TG. Well, we can go around here to get to um, this big uh, BW country, then get into TG, then get into star to solve the module. So we can go to heart to take us to UR. UR is pointing towards that country. There's these little labels down below to point to that to point to the right direction. And you can click on the map to zoom in if you need to. So next up we can press the diamond to go into BE. Like so. Uh, we can go up to the circle to click uh, to JU, it should be. Okay. We can go to the heart to go to what appears to be BL, okay? Then we can use the parallelogram. Yes, that is a parallelogram. Parallelogram to get up to, I think that's actually, no, it's a smaller country. That's not what we want to go to. We can use the triangle, because that's part of the same country. The triangle to get to AG, 
That is true. And we use the heart to get up into BW. We're now at this bigger country right over here. So it is essentially the same border. So we can press the circle to get into, uh, to Tango Gulf. We can press the star to submit our module. And just like that is a solved module. It's pretty straightforward. It's a really simple concept. If you've done USA Maze, you've done this module. Or you, you understand the concept of this module. It's just, the difference is, is the uh, destinations that we're going to and the potential of there being uh, duplicate case scenarios of us running into. And the way that you would um, uh, break apart from uh, clashing two-letter abbreviations is essentially, um, if there, if you were at a starting position, you'll notice that, uh, let's, see, let's take the Berlin and the Bern, for example. So we have Berlin up here, and we have the other BE, Bern, down here. Now, notice how this one has only a circle that is representing how we can get out of that country or that region, and how there's a circle that we can get out to there as well. So each of those duplicate countries will have a have the same um, symbol that can get you out of that region, so you can at least um, um, determine where you are. However, with um, duplicate duplicate cases where you can't determine um, what exactly where your what your destination is, you may have to travel to um, both of the regions. It's it's not you, you won't know if it's set, if it's set in stone. So um, let's find S A to T G. Let's check for any uh, duplicating uh, clashing regions. Uh, no S A and no T G. Okay. Uh, T G is right there. Tango Golf right there uh, on the smaller map. And let's find uh, Sierra Alpha. It's not one of these smaller countries. It's over here. Essentially, um, we're going to have to do the pretty much the same path that we took last time, because that's just one country to the right of NT where we started. So let's head that direction, because we can't loop around up top and then go down. It's not that straightforward. So let's go Triangle to November Tango. Uh, square right down here into GR. Uh, heart. Diamond. Uh, let's do the circle. Let's do the heart. Let's do the triangle. Let's do the heart. Let's do the circle, because we're at, we're at Bravo Whiskey, and to solve the module. And just like that, this is all the module. Let's take a look at one final example and see if we can't get any clashing regions, because we haven't gotten any yet. We have NO, which is not a clashing region, and UR, not a clashing region as well. Unfortunate. So NO, let's find it. NO is up right here, up uh, in the bottom right corner. So we need to travel to <clears throat> uh, UR. UR is this little country right in the middle, surrounded by that diamond and the heart and the star as well. So we're gonna go there. So we need to wrap around and come around the corner. So with this, we can press the triangle to go to Oscar Oscar. The, tra the, the, the trapezoid to get to Bravo Yankee. The diamond to get to Bravo Whiskey. Then we're gonna go down to the heart to get to Alpha Golf. Then we're gonna press the triangle. Then we're going to press the heart then the circle, uh, and then the diamond to submit. And just like that is a solved module. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay crazy, stay cool. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.